Hey guys, so today I'm going to be filming my November favourites. Um, I'm really sorry that I didn't get up a favourites video last month. Um, so this is going to be a kind of combined favourites of things that I was loving in October and things that I'm loving in November as well. Um, the reason I didn't put up a uh, video last month is I did film it. Um, I just re looked over the footage, didn't really like it. Um, and there wasn't really that much stuff to talk about, you know. So I thought I'd combine it all into one big favourite and yeah so we've got a lot to get through today so the first thing in the beauty section of this favourite this month is the NYC Sunny Bronzer um, this is one of the things that I would have put in my October favourites if I had put it up um, and it looks like this just a perfect matte non-orange non-muddy amazing bronzer which is great for contouring you can use it all over your face to give yourself a nice healthy glow and it comes with a mirror and it's only 1.99 from nyc the second thing in my beauty favorite this month is this trio of blushes from Salique, which is called the lace blush by three really love all three shades in here you can see mine's a bit battered where i've been using it so much i've especially been loving these two colors this one's uh kind of a dupe for nars orgasm i think people have been saying i've never tried nars orgasm so i can't comment on that personally but yeah that apparently that's a dupe for nars orgasm um and i really love this shade here especially when you're in summer and wearing it with a bronzer but I really like to carry that on through to autumn your kind of nice sun kissed feel um, as if you just come back from holiday when actually you've been drowning in the English rain <laughs> so the next thing in my beauty favourite is my beauty blender which is incredibly incredibly dirty I'm sorry I have been using it today for foundation and concealer so I use this end for the foundation and then I use this end for the concealer um, and I just think it's so good like ever since I started using it I started actually like using up my foundations and you know really kind of switching between them because this really really pats into the skin nicely whereas before I didn't really have a good way of applying it so that it looked really really flawless but this has helped me so much so for example the Rimmel Wake Me Up foundation I liked the consistency of it but I can never put it on properly like with a brush it just looked weird like it went all streaky and then if I did it with my fingers it would look odd and this has just oh, I cannot explain to you how amazing this is um it is something stupid like 16 pounds but it's so worth it um I got mine in my birch box so I paid about 10 pounds for the box I think it was and you got this free with it as well so I got a bargain so if you have any friends in America they can get them for you cheap or you know just invest it's so good I know real techniques have a dupe for this I don't know how good it is but if you think that one's good you know put a comment in the box below and you know help out other people that might not want to spend a ridiculous amount of money on a sponge so the next thing in the beauty section of my favourites is MAC Indian Wood Pro Paint Pot which looks like this it's a beautiful beautiful gold colour I don't know if you can see it on my hand all month I've been wearing this with my NYC Sunny Bronzer and my orange blush from the lace palette and just going for the bronze look um, I think it looks nice I don't know if I'm just trying to recreate summer because I miss the sun um, but yeah that's what I've been wearing my nice little trio there the next thing is a mascara duo these are from different brands um, one of them is from bourgeois and it is called the volume one second um, and it is in this really cute little packaging that I really like but gets really really dirty um, this is just a normal one it's not waterproof or anything and it's just in black and I like using this one after using this one which is the Rimmel wonderful mascara with argan oil in also in black um, and this one kind of does the lengthening and this one kind of does the volumising and I hated this by itself I didn't do anything kind of learned to love it because you can build up the length and build up the volume but I still prefer these two just together it's wonderful as the name suggests is it weird to use two different mascaras give me a comment below if you think I'm ridiculous for doing that but 
I think it works. I don't know. This one's like seven ninety nine, and this one's like six ninety nine. I think. So it's quite expensive to use to like have to use two, but then I guess it'll last twice as long. So I don't know. I just bought this on a whim when it was on sale. Um, but yeah. Anyway, good. Next thing in my beauty favorites is this. BB cream from Rimmel which is in the matte version and um, I did do a review of this on my blog as I have done a, a few of the things mentioned but not all of them and I will try and you know keep updating and updating my blog um, to kind of get in the new things that I've been using um, but yeah I've really been liking this I got sent this in my glossy box and I friggin love it like it's just so nice it's the perfect perfect thing for like if you don't want to wear a heavy foundation you can just put this on and this does go on with your fingers you don't have to use a beauty blender um, and it's just the perfect colour for me I really like it and yeah I don't want to ever run out of this tube because I have to go and buy another one and you know the next thing I have been loving is a website called Cosmetic Fairy um, and I got these two nail varnishes from there so they've got like weird labels on the front I'm not entirely sure why um, but yeah, I think I just discontinued products, but they're fine, like I ordered a whole bunch of stuff, and yeah, so I, d I don't know why they're so cheap, but these are like 99p each, and they'd usually be like 5-6 pounds, so they're the L'Oreal Nail Colour, um, and I have the shade Movilus, Movilus, see what they did there, um, but I don't really see that as being mauve, but I've got that on my nails today, and I think it looks pretty. It's like a nude, pinky, dusky, rose nude type colour. Um, and this one is called Oud Couture Red, which is like a deep blood red, which is kind of like a little bit more red than the Barry M um, Black Red. Um, so I've really been liking that. Obviously that one was really good for Halloween. Um, but yeah, I've been using the nude colour quite a lot because I think it's just a really, really nice colour for autumn. Like, it's very subtle. It's like, if you want to try something out, but you don't want to spend like £8 on it at the drugstore, like, these are 99 p each. I got, like, so much stuff. Um, you can see it in my haul video, which I shall link below for you guys, that I did about all the wonderful things I got from Cosmetics Fairy, and I spent like £15. And I got so much stuff. It is ridiculous um so yeah i really 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 would recommend i really 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 um, i really really would recommend that website if you're looking to try stuff out on a budget the next thing i have is a skincare item and it is the nux rev de miel balm l'oeuvre oh lip balm <laughs> and and this is just the best lip balm in the world this lip balm is so good it's really thick it's got like rains in it which kind of exfoliate a little bit um it's just really thick it's the perfect before bedtime lip balm and i am obsessed even though it is yellow and quite expensive the next two things are skincare again and these are the moisture match from garnier range these two are freaking awesome this is a night one which is the um, dry to very dry skin ultra hydrating rich cream which is the thickest cream but it sinks in so well and it's the most amazing thing to put on your skin before you go to bed like you wake up and your skin is so soft um, and this one I put underneath my makeup in the mornings it is the moisture match combination to oily skin mattifying fresh cream um, which is just like this really like nice smooth kind of consistency which just glides on effortlessly and just mattifies everything so it's a good base for your makeup um because i'm not really into wearing primer so i like to have a mattifying moisturizer that i can then apply um my makeup onto so yeah i would really recommend these this range it's such a cheap range i got these for like 2.99 each um, I think the regular price was like £6, but they're always on sale. I have a music favourite this month, and it will come as no surprise to you if you've seen my blog recently, or if you saw my video review that I did of this album. Um, this is my music favourite. Ah, I am still obsessed. I listen to it like every day. I've been listening to this non-stop all month. It is 1989 by Taylor Swift. It's got 
16 songs on it and then like three um, voice memos and you get all these cute little photos from Taylor which are like all these little cute Polaroids which have like lyrics on them so this one says I screamed so loud but no one heard a thing and she's like lying on the floor in this like cute car there like screaming it's amazing <laughs> I sound like a psychopath like yeah Taylor Swift screaming on the floor way <laughs> I just love Taylor Swift <laughs> I am not ashamed to say it I know I'm 20 I have loved her since I was like 15 and I will continue to love her until I die. I have one food favourite this month and it's an unhealthy item so I'm really sorry if you guys are like on diets and stuff like winter or whatever but these are <laughs> ice cream fruit flavoured soft sweets from co-op and oh my god they're so cute they look like this and they've <laughs> you've got like Okay, I'm going to get all the colours for you guys. So you've got a pink cone, uh, so like strawberry cone, a chocolate cone, and a vanilla cone. How freaking cute are these? And they're like gummies. They're so cute, and I love them, I'm obsessed. They're like milk bottles. If you've ever tried milk bottles, they're kind of like that, but with like ice cream flavours so good so that is the end of my november favorites i am loving being on youtube and having something to do with my life <laughs> you want me to film anything specific just comment down below um i'll have all the links down below for you to check out um the link to my blog um so yeah if you like this video please thumbs up and subscribe to me i don't have any subscribers as of filming this video which is so sad guys I really need some YouTube friends so if you guys want a YouTube friend in me I'm here take me <laughs> not take me that sounds so weird <laughs> thank you so much for watching and I will see you soon bye